Hello. I pray that you're well today. Are you angry? When's the last time you were angry? Who are you angry with? And if you can remember, what happened before you were angry? I read a book some years ago called Making Anger Your Ally. I found it to be helpful. And this particular book uses these three ideas. It says, people aren't just angry right away. They are angry after they're frustrated. Are you frustrated? Things haven't happened the way you wanted them to happen. Things aren't going the way you want them to go. You've tried very hard and things fall apart. People aren't doing what you want them to do. People aren't fulfilling their expectations or responsibilities. You're frustrated and therefore you're angry. The second would be not just frustration. Sometimes people are hurt. You ever been a hurt? Somebody hurts your feelings, says words, doesn't do something for you that they're supposed to do, did do something and said something they shouldn't do. When you're hurt, you're hurt emotionally. Sometimes the way we cover it up is we get angry. Have you ever been angry because you're hurt? Are you angry right now because you're hurt about the way someone treated you. And then the third, it isn't just frustration. It isn't just the idea of being hurt. It's also the idea of being afraid. Sometimes we're afraid we get angry. We don't know what else to do. We're out of control. It gets very difficult. And so we are angry when we're frustrated. We're angry when we're hurt. We're angry when we are fearful. God says in his word these statements. He says, The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in love and forgiving sin and rebellion. God says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this in James 1. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. In other words, you're not going to do what God wants Anger doesn't produce a good thing. It says in Colossians 3.18, but you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, filthy language from your lips. In your anger, do not sin, in Ephesians chapter 4, and do not give the devil a foothold. Don't give the devil a foothold. Anger, God says to us, can cause a lot of harm and get us into a lot of trouble. And I say as we evaluate, as we dissect anger, we must take our frustration to God and our, and our hurt to God and our fear to God, and even, if you will, our anger to God, so that he can take on those things that we can not. Are you angry? When is anger a good thing? Rarely is it a good thing, if at all. God says this statement, in your anger, don't sin. God says, quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Please pray with me. Lord God, we ask you today that you would give us the power to understand our anger, to understand why we are the way we are and why we're having the reaction that we're having. And we ask you, Lord, give us your grace and grant us your peace and give us your blessing. We give you our hurts. We give you our fears. We give you our frustration. We give you, even when it escalates to the point of anger, that you might give us your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. In your anger, don't sin. In your anger, give it to God. May God bless you today. When you're not in control, God still is. May God bless you today.